Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome back today to a Minecraft Xbox and PlayStation TU31 tutorial. Now today in this video I'm going to be teaching you about the brand new fishing because fishing has now been split up into three different categories which I'll explain everything you need to know. We also have enchanted fishing rods which are so much useful compared to the old system along with we have a new kind of fishing way. This is with particles in the water. So if you guys do enjoy this, be sure to thumbs it up. I'll have more details in description which will be displayed on the wiki page. So first thing is first, let me teach you about the three categories. We now have category one, which is the fish, which is these. We have category two, which is treasure, which is these. And we have category three, which is junk, which is these. So category uh, one, which is fish, you've got the normal fish, you've got the raw salmon, you've got the clown fish, and you've got the puffer fish. Now, they're the only types of fish we have in Minecraft. All of them can be caught with a default normal fishing rod, but you can increase the chances by using the enchanted fishing rods, which I will talk about in more detail. Now, as for the treasure, the treasure is pretty cool. You can get yourself an enchanted fishing rod. You can get yourself an enchanted bow. You can get yourself an enchanted book, which I believe can be pretty much any enchantment. A name tag. Now this is important because now we have more options for where name tags can spawn. You can get yourself a tripwire hook, a lily pad, which I don't know why it's classed as a treasure, and of course a saddle. So this one and this one are going to be important because you can't get them anywhere else. Now as for the junk, you can get a broken or damaged fishing rod, a water bottle, Rotten flesh, string, leather. Now these two aren't too much of junk because leather can be useful for creating the enchantment tables. You can get yourself a bowl, a stick, a bone, a tripwire hook again, an ink sack, which I think is cool, and damaged leather um, boots. So that's what's classed as the junk category. Now moving on over to this side, we now have new enchanted fishing rods. Now we've got enchantment on the top, which is lure or lore. Basically, this just kind of it, it increases the speed of how many fish you can catch per time compared to what you would get with this one. Now, luck of the sea, again, it's just exactly what it says in the tin, luck. You get luck, which is mainly the treasure ones as well. Um, but you can also get treasure with law. You can also get treasure with the normal one as well. Now, you get law one, two, and three, and luck of the sea, one, two, and three. And of course, you've got the normal one. So I'm going to start off with the normal one right here. Just as you casually would in Minecraft. Now you'll notice in the water we have the particle effects which are kind of bubbling up. This just means that you're now actively fishing. And if you're yet to see the new fishing, basically you'll see loads of particle effects jumping towards your fishing. Um, I call it a fishing hook because that's pretty much what it is. Now this can take some time but you can see that it happened. And now with this one, we just got ourselves a raw fish. Now the next enchantment I'm going to use is Luck of the Sea which is Luck of the Sea uh, 3. Now the chances are, they're not always going to be treasures, they're not always going to be junk. Most of the time, and I would say around about 90% of the time, you're mainly going to gather yourself just the normal fish, whether this be the raw fish, whether it be a salmon, whether it be a clownfish or a puffer fish. They're the main things you are going to catch here. But I want to make sure you guys know that there is a chance that you can catch the other things as well. And if you remember in the old updates, if it is raining, it increases your chances even more of catching fish, catching treasures, and pretty much enjoying fishing to a whole new level. Now this can take some time as you guys can see. It's not always a solid way. The enchantments don't mean... Okay then, slime. Came out of nowhere there. It's not always meaning that you're going to capture something because like I said, it does, say, it does take some time. And hopefully with these jumping in the water, it's not distracting them. But as you guys can see that it went down. And with uh, Luck of the C3, we ended up with another one of these. The last one I want to show, sorry, this, the next one I want to show you is Lur, or Lur, I don't know how you want to guys pronounce it, which is three again. Um, again, I, I would recommend, we, oh sorry, should I say, but I will recommend we're probably going to be catching the fish, the raw fish or raw salmon. But again, it's down to time. It's literally takes some time, but you can see the particle effects jumping all over the place. And then the last fishing rod I do have that I'm going to show you is going to be the double of, of them combined. And we have slimes like jumping everywhere. So this is just a, a raw salmon. So again, these are two main ones that you're going to capture. Now this has a combination of lure and of course luck of the sea, which is both three. Again, you can have one, two or three. 
it does increase your chances even more and you can also put on breaking on here as well I'm gonna give this a little bit a few a few more goes hopefully this will capture a few um, but you can have a breaking which again is a massive bonus I'm just doing this in creative for the sake of a tutorial if you guys have been messing around with this today Let me know in the comment section. Have you caught anything useful and what did you capture as you guys can see there? We got ourselves a puffer fish. Let's give this a few more goes so if you really really want to Push your percentage of capturing things, put both of them on one fishing rod. We've got another one there. Um, let's just give this one more go. Let's see if we can end up with a clown fish. Then we've successfully ended up with all types of fish. Now let's go one more. Come on. Come on, I'm sure we can do this. I'm sure we can end up with all types of fish. Now you can't eat the puffer fish, and I believe they're used for potions, which we will talk about in another video. So hopefully this is gonna work. It's, it's the last time I'm gonna be the charm. I think I'm gonna class this as third time the charm. Maybe we'll end up with a final puff of fish. Maybe we'll end up with something as, as a treasure. We ended up with another one of these. So I'm not gonna keep trying until we get the treasures. You guys just know that there is this now. If you guys look on screen right now, this is the percentage list of things you can get. So with Luck of the Sea, it is increased um, for fish quite a lot. Like. You guys did see there that we were catching fish mainly. It increases it by a lot of percentage. It increases, I think, like, it says, uh, look at the C1, which is an 88.5% chance. Um, and then it says, like, a 51% chance of catching a normal fish, 21% chance of catching a salmon, 1.73% chance of catching a clownfish. This is look at the C1. So clownfish are extremely rare, uh, and a puffer fish is 11.25. Getting yourself a bow or any treasure with luck of the c3 is all 1.33 percent so it is rare and then getting yourself some junk with luck of the c3 is a 0.3 percent chance but it is increased by 2.5 percent so it's a little bit more increased and then again you got the same for all the others as well but you guys can check all that out in description on the wiki page it's in categories fish treasures and junk i'm hoping that some of you guys have caught some awesome things as well so i've been echo if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to thumbs it up i have many more videos tutorials and guys coming later on stay beautiful and i'll catch you next time bye